All right, David Harry here, and I've just recently bought myself a Ulanzi G85 vlogging case for the GoPro Hero 8 Black. So what I'm gonna do in this video is kind of just open up this box, show you all the bits that are in it, and show you the various little configurations you can do with this particular case. Now the thing is here, I've obviously already been using this, so I'm just gonna to have to like, you know, dismantle it, put it all back in the box and open it back up again. But right now, because I have already been using it, I can tell you right now, this is the most singular, impressive add-on that I can think of for the GoPro Hero 8 Black. Now I'll talk a bit more about it as I'm going through the bits and whatnot, but I will be doing a couple of videos quite specifically about the use of this case with the GoPro and a bunch of mics and stuff like that as well. Anyway, on with the little thing where I'm going to put it all back in the box and then reopen it again. So here is the box with all the bits in it. Now, as we can see here, it's just a nice, simple, plain box, which I think is cool because you're not getting battered with like loads of packaging, which is going to inevitably bump prices up and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, so let me just get at what's inside it. Now, when you get yours, it's likely that it'll come like partly finished, as it were, with bits already on it. But what I'm going to do is just take it all from the ground up here. So let me just get all this out on the table. Okay, so what we've got here then, this is the main body of the unit straight off. Here is an extra cold shoe that goes on the top or a cold shoe extender. This is the compartment here that holds the microphone adapter with two screws. There's a couple of different Allen keys there. And then also there's a set of GoPro fingers with two screws. So first of all, let's just look at the main unit itself. Now what it is, this is really solid. Now it's made of some kind of an alloy. So it's got a little bit of weight to it and whatnot. But in all honesty, for me personally, it doesn't weigh too much it's a fantastic weight as far as i'm concerned and gives you some kind of responsiveness when you're holding it with the gopro in and stuff on it and what have you now there's a door on the side here which simply just slides off and what we can hopefully see here is that this door has just got a couple of like little guides on each side so it's got like one little notch there on that side and another little notch there on that side and it's got a piece of rubber inside, which is designed to hold the battery in, and I'll show you that when I put the GoPro in. And this door just simply just slides onto the side here. It's easy to actually slide it on when the GoPro's in, but literally it's just a case of doing that. It's so simple. And it's also got an access hole there as well to get at the USB socket on the GoPro. Now on the back here, we have got a little sliding door on the back, which is used to hold the GoPro in place like this. Again, I'll show you more about this when I put the GoPro in because the cool thing here is that this allows you to use some tempered glass on the back of the GoPro and also this is just held in by one of those little ball bearings as well but I'll show you more on that when I get to the GoPro and then underneath we've got various holes and whatnot here which I'll now go into and explain so the most basic configuration for this case is to just use the GoPro fingers that come with it. And these GoPro fingers are made of another solid alloy, really tough. And these connect with these two screws here, which are screwed in using one of the Allen keys that comes with the actual setup. And as we can see under the case here, very conveniently, it has a little recess where this fits into. So you literally just pop that over the recess there and then screw it in with these two screws. So I will do that quickly. And so there's the case now with the GoPro fingers attached. And as that stands right now, you could use that just as is, put on a pistol grip or whatever kind of mounting system you want to. So there is your most basic configuration for this case. But because I'm gonna be using this with the GoPro 3.5 millimeter mic adapter, I wanna put the other fitting on. So let me unscrew this quickly and I'll show you the other fitting. Actually, before I show the other fitting, it's worth noting here as well that the underneath of the case here has also got a quarter 20 mount so you can in fact just use that directly with anything that's got a quarter 20 thread system on it so what we're looking at here is actually the little block that holds the mic adapter in it this too is also made of a solid alloy and again this has got like a little recess pattern on the top of it here which very conveniently also lines up with the same recess underneath that we've seen for the gopro fingers and then we quite simply just attach that with the same types of screws one there and one there so let me crack on with that 
So there's the case now with the compartment underneath it for the GoPro microphone adapter. Now I will put this on shortly because the whole point for buying this case for me is because I want to use it with the GoPro mic adapter and turn this into a fully fledged vlogging system. Now just quickly, we can also take the GoPro fingers there and we can attach them underneath. As we can see, there's another nice convenient recess which lines up the GoPro fingers underneath the mounting block there for the mic adapter so you just put the other two screws you get with it into there and tighten that up and then you've got a system with the gopro fingers on it but i don't want to use them again because as you can see under here this has got a quarter 20 fitting as well so i'm going to be using this all with quarter 20 mounts and not using the gopro finger system and what we're looking at now is the last part that comes with this case system and it is a cold shoe extender and literally it just extends the height of the cold shoe on top of the case now as you can see here this has also got one of those little ball bearing attachments here which helps it to lock into the top of the case now there's a little thing about this which i'll show you now so what you do you just literally throw it on as if you were putting any cold shoe device on so there we go like that now whilst that does give you the extension there I don't know if we're going to be able to hear this but that rattles a bit hey there hold on put it by the microphone so as you can hear that rattles now that's going to be of absolutely no use to anybody who's putting a microphone on top because it'll definitely pick that up in quiet environments but here's what i would do if you just push it backwards a little bit hold on so just a nudge by a couple of millimeters and then what we'll notice now it's fine and it's still solid because what happens is that little ball bearing thing that pops in when it when you lock it into place just leaves it a bit loose but like i say just knock it back by a millimeter or so it's still really strong grip on it and all the rest of it and then there you go not going nowhere and it doesn't make any noises okay so i'm not going to put the gopro in it but for me personally i won't be using that extender only because I use an offset bracket to pull my microphones out of the field of view. Incidentally, there'll be a video pop up here taking to a video which shows you my offset bracket system that I use for pulling microphones from behind the field of view on all of these little small cameras or indeed any camera that uses a wide angle lens. So what I'm gonna do now is pop the GoPro into it and just as you would with the media mod as well, just take the little side door off the GoPro itself. There we go. Now what we do, we'll just pop the GoPro into the case like that and then once the gopro is settled into the case we'll then put the side door on like i say it's literally just a straightforward pushing up the side here there we go it's dead easy sorry a little bit of a jump cut i don't know what happened there i just started laughing i cracked myself up for some reason i think i said something that i thought was funny which nobody else would have done anyway so what we do now we get the back door and then we just simply slide that on now bear in mind I've also got a glass tempered screen on the back of this as well and that door's gone on fine. So as it stands, there is my most basic setup for this GoPro system because I want to use this with the microphone adapter and as we can see, that's solid. I mean, I'm not going to start throwing it on the floor and stuff, but I reckon that's going to give the GoPro a ton of protection. Now, let me just throw the little mic adapter in here and I'll show you something else underneath the mic adapter. So we want to connect the mic adapter through that hole into the USB port. So what we're going to do is feed the cable through from this side and then we'll just temporarily kind of hold the adapter there. Then what we're going to do is just pop the USB cable into the USB socket there through the hole. And then we're kind of half already there now. Now when I say half already there, I've noticed a bunch of people saying that the problem with this case is that the adapter is just really loose inside. Well, what it is, there's another Allen key or Allen nut or whatever it is in there, a grub screw, which you can tighten up to hold the adapter in place. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna orientate the adapter as to where I'd want it. So I'm gonna push the adapter, maybe, let's see, about there. So what I'm doing, as you can see, I'm getting the end of the adapter there lined up with the side of the GoPro case. And the reason for that is, is because I've got a couple of those little right angle microphones that I would like to use with it. So I want to keep that lined up just to the side like that. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to get the second Allen key, which comes in the package, pop it in there. 
and then tighten it up. And what it is, behind that Allen nut or that grub screw, there's actually some rubber. So what it is, you're not digging that nut or the grub screw into the case. There's a bit of rubber to kind of grip it against there. Now, as we can see, that's going nowhere. So that is now all solid in. I mean, you could actually put that anywhere you want in this kind of space here. I've just put it there for the reason, like I've just said, is because I want to get, you know, get at some right angled little nano mics to it there. Anyway, let me just show you what I will be doing with it. All right, so there we go then. There is one of the first setups that I will do with this. And as you can see, I've just literally got it on like me pistol grip and that's it with access to little microphones on the side like that. And also I use a little wrist strap as well for these things. And here's the reason why, because I'm a complete and utter tool who drops things. So if I drop that, I'm not gonna smash it everywhere, which is pretty cool. Now, if I take that microphone off there, I can also put on one of my botched mics or one of my little mic hacks here. So let me see if I can get this a bit closer to the camera. Hold on. So let me see if I can get this in focus. So this is gonna be really neat for a fairly smallish solution that just attaches directly to the side of the mic adapter there. And I can actually also put a foam filter on there and stuff and keep it out of the field of view. Now, on the point of field of view, let me show you my posh setup. Okay, so here is my posh setup. Now, let me just run you through this quickly. What it is, I use this offset bracket here to pull the microphones outside the field of view. Also, on that point, there'll be a video here showing you how I go about putting these little offset brackets together. So, as you can see, it keeps me road video micro well out the way. I'll show you another microphone on this in a second. And then what it is, I've got me little telescopic little pit, well hand grip system there and also that has got some little legs on the bottom so I can quickly pop it down somewhere and just like start like talking to the camera or do whatever with it. So that's kind of like me posh setup. Now let me show you my posh pro setup. And so to my posh pro setup, which is basically the same as the last configuration, except for I've got my Rode VideoMic NTG on it. Now, because of this offset bracket system here, again, the NTG or the video mic NTG will not enter the field of view for whatever it is that I'm filming. How cool and posh and pro is that? Okay, so there we have it then. That was my unboxing and putting together of the Ulanzi G85 vlogging case for the GoPro Hero 8 Black. Now, I am aware that I may have rushed through this and I was all dead excited and stuff. Two reasons for that. One, I'm just dead excited because it's an ace case and the reason for rushing through it as well is only because I am fully aware that I'm probably the only person on YouTube who can turn an unboxing into a marathon. But as I hope you can understand, there are usually technical things associated with this type of stuff, which if you flash by them, people are not really going to understand it. Okay, so I think I'll dart off now because I need to start doing stuff with this system and do more videos about it. But just before I get off, my GoPro wants to say something. David, where's the media mod? Oh, didn't I tell you? Oh, he had a nasty accident. He's in the bin now. <laughs> okay, so I'm David Harry. Thank you very much for watching this video. Take care and goodbye now.